morning guys happy monday today's video is i'm going to show you a really nice leaning green i haven't made this particular one in a long time but i love it and since i'm back on five and one today's day three i figured what better way than to make a video for you doing a leaning green because i know that's the one thing that sometimes we struggle with what to make it's so easy when you're following the plan because it's all done for you. You just pick a fueling and go. The leaning green can sometimes be a little bit daunting when you don't know what to make, when you maybe forgot to take something out of the freezer or just, just having that mindset like, oh my God, what do I do? So I figured I'd make it easy for you by making this video. But right now I'm heading out for an interview part two. So I met with this company last week and today is the second interview so i'm excited about that um have on this really nice sweater a little bit of a poofy sleeve with a uh, rose gold detail have on my rose gold watch um and it is time for feeling number two so i'm gonna have the drizzled fudge bar uh this one's really good this one's very much like the mint bar in far, in way of consistency, but uh, no mint flavor. So this is a really good one. And I have just bought me this yesterday. If you watched the video, you saw him come out with two of these. So uh, this is called Skyra Icelandic Spring Water. I'm not sponsored, but it is pretty good. It reminds me of Fiji. So if you have this near you, grab yourself a bottle. So off we go to interview number two and ah, I'll update you as soon as I get out of the interview. Wish me luck guys. Mm, good vibes. Good vibes. Here we go. Interview number two. <laughs> interview number two. I'm feeling number two. See you after the interview. Just left the interview and drove home. So I'm home right now out in the front of my house. It went very well. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm excited and I, you know, I feel like I have some options. I just have to make some decisions on what I want to do and who I want to go with. And, um, but the options and opportunities are out there. Let's see what happens, but I just want to let you know it went very well. Who's ready for lean and green? All right, here we go. We've got chicken breasts cut into little tiny chunks, sauteing it in a pot with some olive oil cooking spray. And then I'm gonna add some seasonings. I do add some ginger and some garlic powder, but I do not measure them out. I don't count them. It's just a little bit of seasoning to make the food taste well. And I know part of the plan is measuring it out, so feel free to do so if you wish. I take my chicken and after it's seasoned, I just continue sauteing it. And when it's all done, what I like to do is put it into a plate and I measure that out on the scale. So six ounces of chicken breast. And then as you can see here, I dumped on two servings of cauliflower rice, one serving of broccoli and the chicken. And then I'm gonna put this after it's weighed out on the scale back into the pan and I am adding one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce. This makes the dish over the top. You got your soy sauce, your ginger, your garlic, and you are sauteing this up. I'm telling you, it's better than takeout. The cauliflower rice is a great substitute for rice. So if you're missing that while being on the five in one, then you definitely need to try this because it really mimics it well. And it absorbs all the flavors. It absorbs the soy sauce, the ginger, the garlic. Feel free to add other seasonings if you'd like. But those are my two that I choose. Then into the plate it goes and I top it with my one healthy fat. This is fresh avocado. Doesn't that look so good? Oh, guys, this is one 0.5 ounces weighed out on the food scale as your healthy fat. Then what we're going to do is something that I don't know if I show you too often, but these are the best. I buy them at Trader Joe's, and as you can see by the macros, they are equivalent to a healthy condiment. This is what Nutrition Support has told me in the past. So what I do is I open up the package, and I just lay these babies out on the plate. 
These are little seaweed snacks. And I'm telling you, when you eat this all together, it mimics sushi in such a crazy way. Almost like a Chinese food, Japanese sushi. <laughs> this is so good. And I devoured it. It was delicious. I am going to discuss this. Uh, you'll see me in the next clip, but I just wanted to show you how I laid the seaweed out because the heat from the food actually wilts these crunchy seaweed snacks just a little bit and makes this meal just over the top. You can't beat it. I want you guys to try it, and I will see you in the next clip. All right, guys, check it out. This is how you do Chinese food sushi, Japanese <laughs> style on Optavia. So we have five ounces of chicken breast, one serving of steamed broccoli, one serving, or I'm sorry, two servings of cauliflower rice, we have 1.5 ounces of avocado is a healthy fat. We have one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce as a condiment. And as you saw that these little seaweed snacks, this whole box, according to Optavia Nutritional Support, is a condiment. So you could technically eat this, take a spoon of that, and it would feel like sushi. So I'm gonna call this Felicia Nurse's Sushi Dinner. The chicken, the avocado, the cauliflower rice, the broccoli, and the seaweed snack. This is all one lean and green with one condiment, one healthy fat, because chicken you only get one healthy fat with, and one other condiment for the seaweed snacks. And like I said earlier, those I get at Trader Joe's. So there you go guys, Felicia Nurse's Sushi on Optavia. This is day three for me, going strong, going strong. We're doing it. All right, guys, check out the links to follow me in the description box. Follow me on Instagram so you don't miss anything. Follow me in my Facebook group, Keeping It Healthy with Felicia Nurse. And remember, we can do this. Yes, we can, as long as we do it together. Me and you, you and me, 2023 is our year. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah! I love you guys. Bye.